Hi, this is Harvey Gayoso and I'm here to teach you guys a few drills that I do here at home. So the first drill that I want to teach you um, is basically juggling. Um, it will help you with your touches and your, um, your control with the ball. So what, what you're going to do, what we're going to do here is um, we're going to make sure that you keep yourself close to um, a certain area. You shouldn't let the ball go far. If, th if this is your ball, you have to kick it quite in this area so that it doesn't go far. So if you kick it, it has to be coming back to you, the spin. Observe the spin going towards you rather than going away from you. If you kick it this way, it's going to go away from you. So it has to be kept close. So you can start by doing um, 10 in each foot or you can do um, kicking the ball from left to right foot or you can just focus on one foot first. Alternate, left and right. So you can do that for 10 sets and for 4 reps or for 5 reps. Okay, so for the second drill, what I'm gonna teach you is basically, um, it's a tool that you can use to get out, get out of your um, position when you're trying to beat a defender. So you get any object that you have in your house and put it right in front of you. This also, this also works because you need to work on a tight space, especially when you're playing in the wing side. So it's, this is a good way for you to beat your defender. So to practice this, this is called a V drag back. It's an actual letter V that you have to follow. Yeah. So from the left side, what you have to do is drag the ball back with your right foot and then kick it to the other side. And then hold it with your left foot, drag it back, other side. Side of my mind and what drill is me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise of the God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging and miscarrying. So this is how it's gonna look. Same thing, you can do 10 reps and then do it for four sets. I've been exploring, I gotta hold up for some high one more of it. Hey guys, this is Ina Palacios, a former goalkeeper of the LSU, played for the UAAP, and now the team captain of the Philippine women's football team. So today I'll be showing you some goalkeeping home workout that I do at home. Um, so our first exercise will be an ab workout actually, but it's a sit up while catching the ball. So this exercise is important because um, as goalkeepers, it's it's crucial for us to have a very strong core because it helps it helps us get up very quick on our feet every after, every time we dive or save the ball. And all you will be needing is a ball. So you can do this for about 10 times. So the second exercise we'll do is some throwing and catching. So all you have to do is throw the ball on the wall and then catch it. Again, you'll only be needing a football and the wall. But since we're goalkeepers, some of you guys can use gloves. But I personally um, wouldn't have to. I, don't, I, th I think I want to just hold the ball and feel the ball more. But if you want to get the more feel of like game-like situation or like game-like feel, um, you can use your gloves. But for those na wala pero gusto maglero, okay lang na wala. So the catching technique we'll be using is the W shape. So the W shape is like this. So it's um, one basic um, catching technique that all goalkeepers do and use. So this is important because it prevents the ball from going through your fingers and it secures it. So. Um, you can do this for about 10 catches, maybe two to three sets up to you guys. So this is how it goes. So there, I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed your quick little um, goalkeeping workout with me. And um, I hope you guys all stay safe um, during this whole pandemic. And wag niyo kalimutan magugas ng kamay at of course smile.